we should mention our good friend <laughs> John, could Mr. Popularity his here. Remarks about <laughs> yes. something and you mention something you could cut John has uh, uh, several doorstops of books that have just come out from Applause Books. John Simon on theater. Oh. Uh, John Simon on music. Quite a quite a good book that um, uh, has been overlooked somewhat in the reviews. Somewhat, yes. Yes, and, because uh, people don't know music. A fine book on 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 film. Now, Howard, you're a good friend of John's. Have you? read through all of these books? I have books. been reading John since I was a youth in Milwaukee. <laughs> so at some point I know I will go through these volumes and many happy memories mm -hmm. will be restored. Yes, but it, no, it, no, I admired him from... Now what is it about him that makes him such a great critic? He is a serious person. He is a person with great standards and he's entertaining to read. He has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Did you grow up reading John Simon? I from the womb. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to. And let me tell you, they love me in Pozunk. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Jacques first read him in translation in French. In and French. He was obviously. delighted <laughs> yes. to see yeah. how well he writes in English. Yes, indeed. Is this true? Yes. Yeah. Oh, now we're running out of tape right. again. <laughs> but let me ask you, John, what is the point, though, of, you know, for a regular reader, of going back to read reviews of old plays long since forgotten? I mean, what is the. What can one get out of reading old criticism? Well, because the plays change, but the theater remains the same. And what is good in the theater 20 years ago in slightly different form is good today. So intelligent criticism that talks about what's good and what's bad and why it's good and why it's bad, that is always valid. Now, if it's written in an interesting way, if you have a style, if you're witty, if you're committed, if you have passion, and passion is important, then this writing is as good as any other kind of. Who is interested about the fall of a sparrow? But if a great writer writes about the fall of a sparrow, it becomes Hamlet or King Lear. Mm -hmm. They're totally timeless. I think that's one thing about John's reviews. You could, they could have been written 20 years ago or last week, and they're timeless and they're pure. They're a very pure study of the work that's being reviewed, and that's a nice thing, without agendas.